Hello and welcome back to Hyperdave and today we have Unity Turismo, a game up there with Gran Turismo, Forza. It's up there with the best of them, really. So let's get into this. I just want to let everyone know that I have set my Q setting to Fantasty or Fantasty, if you otherwise would like. Wow, I don't even know what to say. It does look Fantasty, I'm going to admit. Look at that view. Oh, okay, never mind. Look at that view. Game felt I should look over there. But now it's... Now it's not sure where I should look. Okay, we're gonna leave. <laughs> Why am I, like, half the size of what my car should be? I mean, look at the size of this road. I'm tiny. I look like a little... RC car on it or something. Oh, wow. Look at that ocean. That is pink as fuck. Jesus. No one's gonna be swimming in that anytime soon. Oh, and there's some more pink stuff right here. Okay. Just a spill from the factory. They don't give a shit. Oh, wow, this thing has a turning radius of a bus. God damn, that isn't a selling point. I like how the uh, speedometer tells me my speed down to five or four decimal places. That is both relevant and interesting. Same with my RPM, you know? I'm always like, yeah, I'm going 163, but what am I really going? It's like you get pulled over by a cop and they're just like, do you know how fast you're going? And you're just like, I know it to the fourth decimal place. Look at my speed right now. It's like they couldn't figure out how to do zero. And I'm now in gear negative one. <laughs> yep, couldn't be bothered to fucking do the, the reverse. Couldn't put an R there. Nope, gear negative one. Oh my god, it's being driven by a ghost! The game can't handle it! It's freaking out! It's okay, game. It's okay. It's just a ghost. Why does it sound like I'm driving on wet balloons? I don't think it should sound like that. Oh, there's our good Pepto-Bismol ocean over there. Yeah, everyone loves taking a swim in that. Alright, I'm gonna try braking here. Okay, I'm hitting it. Oh, whoa, okay. Those are good brakes. You know when they do nothing, and then they instantly lock up. That's quality. That is quality. No anti-lock brakes here. No, you're pumping those things. Pump like your life depends on it. Because it does. God, this car... This car performs like someone put a toaster oven on wheels. You know? Actually, no. No, let's take that back. I would rather drive the toaster oven on wheels than this death trap. Alright, come on, go down. Stop floating. Stop float. Okay, there we go. My car is just gliding away. You know, some people disapproved when they started putting Teflon on wheels. Personally, I think it made life a little bit more interesting. Holy sh! <laughs> if you hold the shift key down, the car just goes fucking crazy. Shift key apparently is turning off traction control. Usually when I have been in a car with a traction control thing and I've turned off traction control, this is not the result. <laughs> yeah, so this car. I mean, they're obviously trying to base this on something. It looks like it's either a Lambo or a Ferrari? No, I don't think it's a Ferrari. It's probably a Lambo, eh? I don't actually keep on top of cars too often, so... I generally keep in them. <laughs> On top of them is bad for the roof. That's a bad joke. That's a bad joke. Oh, drifting! What? Okay. Just bounced off. Oh, whoa, whoa, holy shit! You know, the more I think about it, I'm not actually playing a game. I'm just moving something around a map. There's no objective. There's no nothing. Alright, I'm done with this game. No. That's it, that was Unity Turismo, and what can be said aside from... This game loves their decimals, you know? Like, look at that. RPM, three decimals. Automatic transmission speed. I don't know why they say that, but... Four decimals. And look at that, my Fantasty settings are decimals as well. I mean, that one doesn't even make any sense. Why are there decimals there? Hope you enjoyed, and as always... Have a good one. You know, I just want to take this time to say a little public service announcement about decimals. You know, you may think it's funny. 
telling an officer, yes, I was driving 97.45 kilometers an hour. But that's just where it starts. Then suddenly your friends are offering you fractions. And you think, oh, that doesn't sound so bad. Maybe I'll just try a little fraction. Next thing you know, you're passed out at your table, sitting beside a calculator and a 40 of malt liquor, wondering how your life went so wrong. You can have an irrational number, but you don't need to be an irrational person.